you're gonna help me? Okay. I didn't want to make it angry. I don't want to watch you do your poem like this. <laughs> I didn't selfish. want to make it mad. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Noni. I love you. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Maya. I'm a senior. My name well, is Marin, and I'm also a senior. My name is Catherine, and I'm also a senior. I'm Brianna, and I'm a sophomore. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> we are from Duchenne. I'm really now. And this poem is called The Modern Prometheus. Last December, I said that I wanted to go see the new Star Wars movie for my birthday. And someone looked at me up and down like I was an Ewok. Small, adorable, void of substance. But it was cute scary. that I tried. Huh. I thought Star Wars was for boys. To the society who divides, divides enjoyment into, into gender, gender, it was a dreary night in November that I beheld the accomplishment of my toils, and, and with, with that, that one line, line, science fiction was birthed from its mastermind's brain. Unfurled its infant fingers for the first time, and opened its yellow eyes. A genre shocked into a world not ready for universes, universes built of science and horrors, injected with elements of real life. Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, and she was a woman. Dr. Victor Frankenstein created a creature. Expecting affection. And unwavering devotion. But the creature broke away. Mary Shelley created a genre for her own enjoyment. That, that has since excluded members of her own sex. Tumbling generations through her opus against her. Branded it as a male gaze fantasy. Sought to silence women's participation in worlds deemed too dangerous for feminine curves. Do all those who have questioned a girl's passion for time and space realize the first fan of science fiction was a teenage girl, a dreamer who wanted to share a story about the spell of shutting people out just because they are different? How it means dignity. Make stomachs drop in fear that spirit will never be enough when scrutiny rules society. Do people realize that Mary Shelley, the woman the world owes, every space alien and monster saga too, would probably reel in disgust and sorrow at the maltreatment of her creation? The preaching that not all imaginations all are created, created equal, equal, that certain stories are no longer about unifying fantasists, but rather proving that you are one. Some galaxies are just too convoluted for the female mind. If Mary Shelley had foretold the havoc that would later wreak her life's work, what if she had locked away her brain? Nullifying her magical ideas into corpses? I like to think not. Rather, she would have said, Who are you to, to tell us that we are worthy of a bunch of seats in stardust that our gender is only good, good enough for gold bikinis, for black spandex, and disgustingly unrealistic high heels? Our, our minds can bend matter into stories, stories pop culture, culture would be lost without. We can create universes, we can raise civilizations, we can summon demons and heroes, we can make monsters. So, the next time you tell me Star Wars, Star Trek, X Files, any superhero movie ever is just for boys, do me a favor and wonder what future fiction you have just shot out of the sky. <laughs>